Hi everyone, JB here and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. In the previous episode, we took on and down the Thunderquake in the Westmost Highway. In this episode, we are going to explore the Nebel Valley. Nebel is German for fog, in case you didn't know. Uh, but yeah, here we are. And the first thing we're going to do is get to this junction here. And we want to go east to another screen. There's only two screens, don't worry. And there's four new enemies and I will take them on as... I find them. Uh, so we get a preemptive, which is nice. And these are the ice packers weak to fire. Hopefully now you understand why I wanted two people in this uh, party to have fire magic. Arts. Arts. My arts, fire. Arts and magic are the same thing. I'm glad you all understand. And down he goes. That's that then. Let's move out. Yeah, we're not getting a lot of uh, we're not getting a lot of experience at this point, so we can look to actively avoid monsters while we're at it. So round we go, and there's another enemy. This is, if I remember correctly, the white insectos. Uh, not weak or strong against anything, uh, but not a lot of HP. So guess what we're gonna do? That's right, beat the crap out of it. Nice. Okay, so that's the ice pecker and the white insectos down. It might this might look long and winding and complicated, but we haven't actually come to a junction yet until now. And the first thing we want to do is take the west junction. We want to go down here and round. And we'll get to this house here, and of course we want to go in. And we want to talk to this guy. Wemler, you've done rather well to make it to this place. There's not much I can offer you, but make yourselves comfortable. Indeed, but you can share your meal with us. And we ate the Abaddon potluck. And yeah, look at Estelle's HP. Someone is down to one HP. And in fact, if you look at the recipe book, Abaddon potluck. Yeah, just put someone down to one HP. That's exactly what it does. Uh, we just want to rest now. Luckily, Wormler is nice enough to lend us his bed. Uh, we could also shop here, but, you know, red tail suit, tear balm, purging balm, softening balm, insulating tape, and reviving balm. Uh, let's get a couple more reviving balms, why not? Cool. And let's head out. Cool. We want to go back to that junction now. That I didn't really point out the obvious on. And I'm going to take on the enemies here uh, until I get to 200 CP. Because remember, we do have in our Bracer Notebook the Neville Valley Monster. And we just want to keep on going round. And we'll take this guy out. And eventually, we'll get to a new enemy. This is the Snow Mantis. And just like the name dictates, he's also weak to fire arts. So there we go. Isn't life wonderful? We prepare for fire uh, usage and we're using them to kill things in the Neville Valley. I am making this look a lot easier than it actually is. And the battles I've shown so far have been like um, just against a single enemy and nothing big has happened. Yeah, they do get tougher, don't worry. Uh, anyway, for the Bear Claw, uh, for the Bear Claw survey, we want to examine this here. Uh, look, it's Bear Claw. Found Bear Claw. Phew, after all this walking, we finally found the dang thing. Now all we've got to do is tell that old man in the Bose Market about this place. Estelle, because it's you, I have to ask, do you know the name of this place? Oh, come on, Shera. Who do you think I am, an idiot? This is the Nebo Valley, right? <laughs> I think she... I think in the translation, she was meant to say Never Valley. Because uh, the Bs and Vs in Japanese are the same. So if you know Victini, the Pokemon, in the Japanese, it's Victini. So there we go. Uh, the name's definitely got a nice sound to it. Estelle, it's the Nebo Valley. Oh! I'm glad you asked. I'm glad I asked. <laughs> Give me a break. I'm a growing girl if you haven't noticed. 
I'm not sure what kind of excuse that's supposed to be. Me neither, Joshua. All right, all right already. It's back to work for us. Come on, let's get out of here. Unbelievable. One more thing I want to do whilst I'm here is I want to avoid you. And I want to avoid you too. And I'm going to keep on avoiding people because it's what I do. I'm a master at it. Uh, go around. Conveniently avoid this fight. Uh, conveniently avoid this fight as well. Is it up here? No, that's something later. Uh, conveniently avoid this fight. I uh, go in here. Get the Stragars. And we want to equip that straight onto a stealth. No messing about. Wow, look at that boost. It's that slight boost in... Uh, Slight boost of power, and we'll just do some shuffling back with our equipment. And then, I'll tell you what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to meet you back at where we first came into the ne the Nebel Valley? The Nebel Valley. Okay, and we're back. And instead of taking the right path this time, we're going to take the left path. And the first thing we're going to see as we go to the left path, I'm stuttering for a reason. There he is. There's the big bad himself. Uh, that is not a hunt. That is a normal monster. Yep, he's huge, and we get a preemptive strike. This is the giant foot, and he's also weak to fire. It's almost as if you can sense a theme of sorts. <laughs> uh, anyway, what we want to do is show some respect, because this guy has very high defense. Uh, so we're just going to use our fire arts here. And look at how little damage we do. Yeah, this is giant, but my personal advice for this is that unless uh, you are supremely confident in your skills, to actively avoid fights with these guys. I just think nothing good will come of it. They'd, they're just really slow. That's, that's their downside. Um, or upside for us is that they're really slow, but when they hit, they hurt. They, they really hurt. Uh, don't have a Shadow Spear yet on Sherazard. I could Shadow Spear uh, this for Joshua. Yeah, see, he's not doing anything. It's just what they do when they do something. I, mean, I didn't display it there, but yeah. Take my advice. And if you don't, well, you know, don't crumb crying to me when you get a game over. Anyway, the good thing about fighting those giant foots, uh, the one redeeming feature of fighting them is that they have that HP2 uh, quartz. But if you've been following this guide, you took on an easier enemy to get those from in the form of wisdom. Um, so you don't need HP2 quartz anymore. Uh, anyway. I'm just Metal Gear soliding my way around this. Um, yeah. Okay. There's a reason I'm doing this, by the way. Ground up and round. Da 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 this is the Nebel Valley Monster. This is the big guy. This is the guy that your mother warned you about when you were younger. Uh, first things first, we are going to heal. Uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. We are going to exterminate this guy. Here we go. This is the... Master Cryon, weak to fire. This guy is also weak to fire. Uh, this guy's weak to water. Do not, I repeat, do not get them all mixed up. It will end in tears. First thing we want to do is get rid of the boiled eggers because they are really annoying. Don't worry, everyone uses arts. Uh, and you can see who they're targeting. They're targeting Joshua and they're talk targeting Sherazard. Uh, with Charizard, what we want to do is uh, use some Soul Blur. And if you 
if you're ever wondering the difference between boiled egg a G and boiled egg a R, the G stands for green and the R stands for red. You're welcome. If I if I haven't blown your mind, I'd be very surprised. Okay, so we are doing all right. Blue impact happens and it deals 200 to Shara. That's not very nice. These guys do hit hard. They do hit hard. Um, there we go. Eventually we'll get our turn back. Cool. Uh, so Joshua at this stage wants to use Shadow. Uh, can we use Hellgate actually? We can hit both of those with this. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and then Solblur will finish off the Boiled Egg G, the second Boiled Egg G, and then we'll use Aqua Bleed on this guy, because I don't think Hellgate's going to finish it off. In fact, it, it wasn't close to finishing it off. Okay, so we've got another round of arts coming up that's going to hurt. Cool, another one down. Three down, two to go. Another blue impact. Ooh. Ouch. Okay. Hmm, I think for this round, let's see. Yeah, Boiled Egger has full health, but it will take them two turns. Uh, so, I'm just going to start using Arts now. Okay, 237, nice. Uh, yeah. Aqua bleed on this guy. I'm hovering using the uh, S brakes, but I don't need to. Uh, that's a problem. Uh, they're not hitting Sherazard, that's the good news. So I'm just gonna tear bomb, I think. Okay, it's looking like Ariel is what's coming next. 156, I can deal with that. Ariel or Blue Impact? Diamond Dust! Ooh, this still might die. Nope! And. Music change! You rarely get this. Um, yeah. Anyway, so let's carry on fighting these. I could have just used S-Crafts and cheese the fight. But, you know, where's the fun in that? It's very fun, don't get me wrong. It's actually very fun to cheese fights. Down he goes! Piece of cake! Piece of cake indeed! Everyone gets some experience. You get some uh, nice sepith as well. We get two olive oils, but nothing else. And we exterminated the monster in the Nebel Valley! In Nebel Nebel Land. Okay, what else do we want to do? We want to pick up this to get the Katars! I'm not entirely sure that's how they were going to spell it, but there we go. Uh, strength plus 30 for so a nice boost actually there from 90 to 99. Uh, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to meet you back at the Bose Bracer Guild because you've done both the side quests in the Nebel Valley. Did I say the Bose Bracer Guild? I meant the Bose Market, of course. We need to talk to Spence and finish up the Bear Claw survey. Good afternoon, Mr. Spence. 
Oh, it's you, Braces, again, is it? Have you made any progress in your search? You bet we did. It looks like there's a habitat for bear claw flowers in the Bose region as well. We found some growing in the Neville Valley. There weren't many of them, but there should be enough for you to use your, in your medicine. This is wonderful news. I see, the bear claw has been said to grow well in humid places. Now that I think about it, the Neville Valley is the perfect place for them to grow. I appreciate you helping me out there like this. Now how can I put my full- now I can put my full effort into preparing this new medicine. Great! Good luck with your work and have a wonderful day. We'll bring- we'll be going then. Quest Bear Claw Survey completed. Fantastic. So now we can go to the, uh, to the Bose Brace Guild, talk to Lugren. Hand in Bear Claw Survey for another 4 BP, so you should be up to 74 BP now and 1000 Mirror. And you can also report Nebel Valley Monster for another 5 BP and 2000 Mirror, so you should be at 79 BP now if you've been following the guide so far. For still being, to still be in 7 class, but don't worry about that, there's a long way to go just yet. Uh, so yeah. So, looks like we've done everything we can do in the side quest uh, stuff now. So, will we go back to the main quest? Find out next time! In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. I've been JB, this has been the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, and I'll see you in the next one.